what I've got here is a Porter Cable pancake compressor. It's a C2002 model type 7. And the problem I have with it is with the regulator. If you adjust the regulator, pressure will not uh, adjust. And also it leaks from the regulator. If you don't know what type you have, just look on the back and just look at this label right here. What I have received in the mail yesterday is a repair kit for this regulator. It comes from a, a seller off of Amazon called Buckeye Tool Supply. And I'll provide a link in the description to this part. I guess this regulator repair kit covers quite a few models. It has on it uh, DeWalt D5515 compressor. I'll get a little sheet, a little bag with some parts in it, and some grease. So what this comes with is a disc right here. It already has an O-ring around it, and another O-ring, a plug for the back with a spring, and the uh, piston right here, and it has a seal on it. There's a little O-ring on this uh, plug right here. And then we have the grease. And the first thing I'll do here is pull this knob off right here. Just unscrew it all the way off. And it comes off with a pretty nice sizable spring right there. All right, now there is the disc is inside of here. Just gonna reach in there with a pair of needle nose. Pull that out. And uh, on the back side here, right here is the uh, plug with the piston assembly. And uh, that's gonna come out with uh, an 11 sixteenths. Okay, so I've got my new plug here and my new uh, piston. So that uh, spring is going to fit down inside of there. We've already got the seal installed and we've got the O-ring on there. So that fits down inside of there just like that. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put some grease on here. I'm going to lubricate up this seal right here. And also this O-ring and this little smaller O-ring in there. I'm going to go ahead and put some grease on that also. install that spring in there. And I'm going to go ahead and install, reinstall it back into the compressor. Because you're having to work against that spring pressure while you're threading it. Okay, I've got my new disc right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some grease on that seal there. And this O-ring is going to go in first. The little small O-ring that's going to go in first there. And 
in the spring and the handle, the knob. So I'll screw that back on there. Everything feels good. So I guess for right now, I'm gonna try it out. Pressure switch still works. There is 90 PSI. I'd say this is a success. Now one thing you can do that will work temporarily for you is to pull this piston out. As you can see, this is stuck in there pretty good. That's the reason why the pressure won't adjust is because this is seized up in there. But a temporary fix would be just to pull this out, clean it up with a rag real good, and try to clean it up down in here also. And... Uh, Put some grease on there and restick it in there, and that'll get you going for a while. But like I say, I, I would do this and it would work, and then the next time I go to use it, it would seize back up in there again. So that's why I went on ahead and just replaced this whole thing. Anyway, I uh, hope y'all uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.